Solomon Nyerenda, Yvonne Mnisi and Preeting Gambule. In October last year, the Mbombela Magistrates Court found that illegal mining in the area around Lile Mine and the failure by police and the Mineral Resources Department to combat it contributed to the collapse. The court ruled that those responsible should be held criminally liable. Mashaba says the party's legal team will continue to pursue this matter until the bodies are retrieved. Gloria Mutsuiri, Eyewitness News. Swani Mayor's Leah Brink has responded to President Cyril Ramaphosa's comments on the water crisis in the capital, placing the blame squarely at the feet of national government. Yesterday, Ramaphosa told Mami Lodi residents during a voter registration program that water should be provided by local government, which is DA-led. However, Brink says the metro is struggling to address the ongoing water challenges due to the failures of national government. And so the president, I think, would rather blame other people than to, to take responsibility because the space that we are operating in local government to a very large degree depends on the performance of national government. And the first among the men accused of Senzo Meiwa's murder has told the Pretoria High Court that he signed a confession statement in order to save his life. Muzi Sibia has spent the day giving his version of events in a trial within a trial. The state wants his confession statement and signed by his co-accused Bongani Danzi to be admitted as evidence. But both men insist they were beaten and coerced into signing. While testifying today, Sibia told the court how police allegedly tortured him all day. <laughs> Uh, I was abused, my lord, pointed with firearms uh, from the morning up until late uh, uh, in the evening. A fine Tuesday in store for Gauteng tomorrow, becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon. Joburg dropping to an overnight low of 14 degrees, peaking at 30. Pretoria 16 and 33. For Inachung 15 and 32. Lerato Huffler, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News on 947. For more, click ewn.co.za. Hashtag MSW. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind and execution. This is a normal response. Are you ready? Where are our sports worldwide? The uh, Minister of uh, Sports, Arts and Culture has become an instant coach. So he's now coaching them. Victory is certain. Thank you. Oh, lovely run by Rodriguez. One on one, takes the shot and Williams is there. Well positioned. Lovely ball in. One on one. Williams is beaten. He gets a little touch on it, I suspect. Cape Verde go to penalties for the first time ever at the Africa Cup of Nations. Against Ronan Williams. Denied by Williams. Patrick Andrade against Roman Williams. Williams sent South Africa into the semi-finals for the first time since 2000. He's made four saves in the penalty shootout. Like this is now an official call on checkers right now. An official call on checkers. Your extra savings card must now be called the Ronan Williams card. I'm overjoyed. Uh, and my heart did not stop, as you can see. Williams sent South Africa. I don't have words. I'm so proud of the boys, and it was my time to show up for the hard work that they done. What the heck? I never thought I'd say I'm. I won a Grammy at 22 years old. I'm. If you don't know me, my name is Tyler. I'm from South Africa. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. Not your ordinary Monday. It's Reaction Monday. Hashtag MSW. Yeah, what a bunch of winners, man, from Grammy Awards to hosting the Grammys to, of course, Bafana Bafana doing ever so well. Heading off to the semi-finals now of the Africa Cup of Nations. My, oh my. The coach, remember last week he said maybe it is now time to dream for the boys. And I dare say they are dreaming and dreaming big. Whatever happens, they're going to be there until the last day because semi-finals, then they go through either to the final or it's third and fourth place playoffs. So either way, hey, it's off until the end. So well done. Congratulations. Uh, let's share some of those final moments uh, within 
the show today. Send us your WhatsApp voice notes. Remember, it is a Monday, which means that Reaction Monday is powered by Hollywood Bets. Reaction Monday is proudly powered by Hollywood Bets. Hashtag MSW. Uh, good evening, Robert Marawa, Ubamutlavatla uh, in Escort. Uh, Marawa, firstly, let me congratulate uh, Utaila for winning the Grammy. Uh, I must also congratulate uh, our boys, Bafana Bafana. Uh, the boys, are, they've made us proud. Marawa, we are very happy. We are very happy as a nation. Uh, I can't wait for, for Wednesday, you know. Uh, Wednesday against Nigeria. I know we will come on tops. Uh, I just want to wish them well. Uh, I just want them to bring that cup home. That's all I can say. I'm very happy, Marawa. Good evening. Hey, good evening. As I said, it is a bunch of winners all round if you are a South African right now. We'll also tell you a bit of breaking news away from football that has to do with Formula One racing. Hey, Red Bull said to investigate Horner over alleged inappropriate behavior. More details as incoming as far as that is concerned. Obviously something very, very serious. But if you're a tourist and you have no idea why South Africans are so buoyant today, hey, they've qualified for the semi-finals of the Africa Cup of Nations for the very, very first time. As you heard that commentary from Dwayne Delonke, for the very first time in 24 years, eliminating Cape Verde on penalty kicks. And of course, Bafana Bafana coach Hugo Bruss was moved by the spectacular fight that was displayed by the team, even as he admitted, though, that they produced their worst performance in the Cup of Nations. Let's say uh, six hours ago, we were 71. Now I'm 75. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a very stressing game, certainly with penalties. You never know what happened when you have to take penalties. It's... Uh, a very special situation for the players. So sometimes you do a little game after training, taking penalties, and then and nearly no player miss a penalty. But you see today what happened, not only with us, but also for the players of uh, Camp Verde. So that means that, um, yes, you can be happy that players want to give a penalty. And we were yeah, not lucky because we had a very good keeper today. If you can take four penalties, this is not luck anymore. You can take one, but four, this is not luck. And um, he did not only that, he saved us two minutes before the end. Also, with um, a player who was alone in front of him. So, um, yes, he was man of the match. I think <laughs> you could choose nobody else because he's really the man of the match. Our match was not so good. I think we played the worst game of the tournament, of all our games. We played better against Mali, we played better against Namibia, Tunisia, also Morocco. And today, yeah, this, this was not the team we saw in the previous weeks. And I think, I think, for some players, it's a, a very new experience. And that maybe the pressure and, and the nerves um, played a role today in that game. Um, for Cap Verde it was maybe different. They have nothing to they had nothing to lose. Even I think they are very sad now. But for us there was more to lose. And that I think played in the head of the players. And therefore we didn't play freely like we are used to be used to do. But okay, uh, I said it already. It's not the way you win. It's you win. And we won today with penalties, and we are very happy. Yeah, very happy coach is Coach Hugo Bruss. But hey, how do we even begin to analyze what happened over the weekend? We can always say, hey, Captain, my Captain, Captain Fantastic, History Maker. I think we run out of words to literally describe this man, the heroics, a man who truly embodies what being a leader is all about, leading by example against a very, very determined as well as aggressive. The Blue Sharks of Cape Verde to secure South Africa's passage uh, to the semi-finals. As we said, for the first time in a very long time, 96, man. And if you thought his magnificent reflex save, if you go back to the penalties, you know, Gilson in the second half stoppage time, felt like it was to be the pivotal moment of the contest. He certainly wasn't, Dan. I mean, he stood up for his country under the most intense of pressures, guessing correctly, uh, to keep four 
of those Cape Verdean penalties out. The goalkeepers here will correct me if, uh, if I say, is it a guess or is it all cooked in the technical team? I don't know. I've got two professional goalkeepers who will help me in studio. Well, I suppose the chap that we talk about is Ronan Williams, man. The world may well only be taking note of his incredibly talented goldminder now. I mean, he started off as a striker, by the way. And guess what? We are here. Supersport United Academy is where he came through. No surprise. I mean, he's been doing this in his sleep for the longest time. They even called him Mr. Consistency. And I think something very few goalkeepers ever managed to achieve is just that consistency. And given just how high the demands at Sundowns are, many of the players have not survived the club's sink or swim ethos. But Ronza has done exceptionally well to achieve all of this. But right now, though, let's open it up because, as I said, we've got an array here. We've got a superstar studded studio lineup. I think it's a starting lineup that any national team would envy. Dennis Onyango, Mamelodi Sundowns goalkeeper, former Ugandan national team goalkeeper. He is with me and uh, I haven't seen him in a while, so I'll start off with him. Dennis, good to see you. Welcome to the show. Good evening, Rob, and good evening to the listeners. So as we welcome you to the show, you've been watching AFCON. Are you yeah. surprised by anything that has happened, especially from a South African perspective? Um, definitely I'm not surprised because uh, the quality has been there for the for the boys. And uh, of course, they didn't start off well, but uh, they picked up momentum and they did very well through difficulties. They managed to go up to where they are right now because it's been very difficult. The, the country has been waiting for a very long time for, mm -hmm. for them to show up because, to be honest, uh, when you speak about South Africa and football, the whole continent will listen and uh, it's been a while that they haven't shown up. But for me, I'm happy that uh, at this moment they've shown up and they're in the semifinals and it shows that the PSL is doing a very good job and let's hope for the best in the semifinal. Anything to say about your teammates? Let's not run away from that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything um, to say about, I mean, we, we can talk and talk and talk, but at the, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Of course, uh, the spotlight is on the Sundowns players, but personally, I think it's a team effort. Sure. Regardless of whoever says what that Sundown has done, has done very well in terms of Continental and, and providing a lot of players to the, to the national team, but they can't do it with the, without the other ones because if Ronwen is doing it, which means Ricardo Goss is helping him and yes. Veli Motwa is helping and Sianda Tulu is helping Motobi. So it's a team effort. They, they are only looking at the players who are on the pitch, but there are probably 23 players out there. There's mm. a lot of uh, people outside who are supporting them in the back room. And of course, the technical team who are really helping them because it's not easy to be in camp for all that long. They didn't have a good uh, festive season. Uh, some of them didn't even have holidays. They went straight to camp yeah. with a lot of games, fatigue. And of course, they needed someone to help them mentally. So everyone has played his part. And I think the nation has also played its part by supporting them because it's not easy to be in camp for almost a month. And that's food. all you see is football and the same faces every day. So for me, they've done a fantastic job. Right. We'll come back to the intricacies of what we saw over the weekend. And I think both yourself as well as Andre Aronso will assist me with that. Uh, but let me jump quickly to Swallows GM, African football analyst, Elasto Capoenza, part of the terrible trio that normally pops in here on a Monday, on Reaction Monday. Uh, but we decided, you know what, we've got to get the help of these professionals, yeah. Elasto. And I think uh, we all understand why, uh, given what we saw over the weekend. But sure, mm -hmm. what do you say? Come Monday, Reaction Monday, having experienced the roller coaster that we experienced. Yeah, good evening, Rob. Um, our lovely listeners as well. Great to be here. <coughs> Look, Rob, oh, my goodness. Uh, I think you, you can't predict what has been happening. Uh, nobody could have called it uh, what we are seeing unfolding before our very eyes. Uh, it's every game that really just makes you to be on the edge of your seats. And yeah, the president declared that this would be the best Afcon and... It has lived to that expectation. Uh, you see that you are now left with only Nigeria, maybe one of the top sides, you might say, 
uh, in the top five, top six, there about uh, who would have thought that, no, we are speaking of the likes of Diara Congo. Um, and you speak about the host nation who, at first I thought, yes, host nation should be there. But after that 4-0 drubbing, change of coach, it's a coachless uh, side at the moment. It's like one of those um, movies where the starring, you think that is gone, is dead, but all of a sudden just comes back to life. Uh, it's in Ivory Coast that if I'm a man of God, I can tell you I would have a very good sermon if I have to speak about just never giving up where things look as if they are down and out. But from Norway, it's an ivory coast right now with two games to go. If they win those games, that can actually leave this tournament. Good for the tournament that they are still there in the tournament because at one stage we thought that it is just going to disrupt and just make this tournament actually just lose it. But there they are. Bafana Bafana, yes, we're going to speak a lot about them. Uh, nobody could have given them a chance, even their own fans, to be where they are right now in the semifinals. Uh, a team that hasn't done that since 2000. But there they are again, you know, staring. Uh, actually, this uh, this this cup competition winning it was 1996. Uh, I think that song we are sick and tired of 1996. It's high time this crop of players go out there where they are right now. Anything is possible. Don't be sick and tired of it when you've got a, a winner of 1996 yes, present. Hey, goalkeeper, Super Sports United as assistant coach, also record holder up until who? Ronan Williams decided to mess things up a little bit. <laughs> hey, good to see you, Andre. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Thanks for having me back again. Um, and you know, you know what? I do agree. Yeah. I do agree. Um, perhaps the country needs new heroes. Sure. Um, and, and, and that, I'm not discarding the old ones sure. because yeah. that will forever stand the test of time, but there's an exciting era around the squad of players, um, whether they are playing on the African continent or just together in a friendly at the moment, because we've all seen their progress. Um, and and they, they're good to watch. I, I love watching the team play because there is something about them that speaks 96 for me. Um, and I say that with, with, with the experience of, of winning it um, and what it, what it took to win it. Um, and, and I see that. I see glimpses of that. And, and I just hope that the, the, the boys, and, and I'm, I'm very confident they can go on. When you look at the journey that they've, that they've just first and foremost embarked on, um, as Dennis said, where it started, um, you know, how, they've, how they've sort of navigated their way through the tournament so far, um, I think they deserve to go all the way. They really do. All right, those voices are my guests, and we want to hear more from you as well. It is a Reaction Monday, which means that you bear the bulk and the brunt of what has to be said on air. So do keep in touch, do phone us through, do send your WhatsApp voice notes. It is a Monday, and Reaction Monday is proudly powered by Hollywood Bets. Hollywood Bets is backing South Africa to go all the way. They're also backing you all the way in their new limited edition football promotion. All you have to do is bet 20 rand or more on any soccer fixture with Hollywood Bets. Include at least one leg from the Africa Cup of Nations 2023 and you could win your share of 100,000 Rand in cash. Take your best shot by betting now to be in the running for a big bucks bonanza. Hollywood Sportsbook is a licensed betting operator. Hollywood Bets supports responsible gambling. No persons under the age of 18 years are permitted to gamble. Sports worldwide, taking you around the All Africa Cup of Nations Cote d'Ivoire 23 in Abidjan, Boaké, Coroco, San Pedro, and Yamasuko. Hashtag MSW Afcon. We are expecting stage 15 today with only 10 minutes of power. What? Only 10 minutes of power? You know the draw. <laughs> No power. No power. Wake up. Wake up! You're having a nightmare again. Save up to 20,000 Rand with Weetility's Beast Bundle. Sign up before 14 Feb and only start paying in April 2024. Plus, we'll throw in an extra two solar panels for free. Visit Weetility.energy and subscribe to a load shedding free 2024. Weetility. Energy at your pace. Once again, Chamberlain presents their famous Power Tool Extravaganza from 26 January to 29 February. Join the leading brand specialists at our mega stores on Saturday mornings for live and noisy demos. Centurion 27 
1 January, Montana 3 February, Silver Lakes 10 February, Strubens Valley 17 February, Kyle Army 24 February. 60,000 Rand to be given away for lucky in-store prize winners. See you there for the rockiest and bottomest prices. Chamberlain, famous for hardware since 1903. Be one of 10,000 lucky Spark customers to win instant free shopping from 26 December to 6 February. Just swipe your new rewards card when you buy any product, like 2kg sunlight 2-in-1 hand washing powder, assorted for 58 99 each, and 500 gram Rama 70% fat spread original brick for only 24 99 each. Shop, swipe, and stand to win instant free shopping. T's and C's apply. And that's why we shop at Spa. Celebrate love with Diskim this Valentine's Day with hundreds of instant prizes to be won online on Valentine's Day. To enter, simply visit diskim.co.za on Wednesday 14 February, exclusive to Diskim Benefit Card members. So don't miss out, sign up now. And shop for your Valentine in store and online from the 1st to the 14th of February with love from Diskim Pharmacies. Better health starts here. When South Africans think security, they think Trillidor. Only Trillidor combines internationally certified security with local expertise for the ultimate peace of mind. With six months interest-free financing and over 54 franchises around the country, you can always find the security product and price that's right for you. Visit Trillidor.co.za or call 0861 Trillidor today. Trillidor, the ultimate crime barrier. It's a great new way to buy or sell your car. Hobby will make your day. Ain't no other way. Come to us, so we'll come to you. Our team's colors are yellow and black. Quick, efficient, fair, that's where we at. Whatever you want, whatever you need, we've got the car for you. Copy, soon we'll be number one. Buy or sell your car today. Visit cubbycars.co.za. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. A couple of qualifications later, amongst them a Bachelor of Law. So it's tough stepping into your family because everybody in your family has a degree. That was another pressure, you know. <laughs> I don't want to be this black sheep in the family. People say soccer players, they don't have that ability. And I want to say today and now, you cannot play football if you're not intelligent. Football is for intelligent people. It's just that sometimes we get overwhelmed by the sport itself. But the ability to study, to go further academically, I think any soccer player can do that. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Not your ordinary Monday. It's Reaction Monday. Hashtag MSW. You know, we prepare everything very good, so the video analyst is does fantastic work. But you know, a penalty, you can tell the keeper, this one will shoot him right, this one will shoot him left, and then it does just the opposite. <laughs> this is penalty. You know, so I think that, that once you, you take a penalty as a keeper, for the guy who's coming next, is a little bit uh, a warning of, oh, this is a guy who can take penalties. And he took a second one. And then it, there came a lot of pressure on the shoulders of the players of Cap Verde. So Ronald had the information. But after all, it's he that decides on the moment. But it helps. It helps. So um, again, yeah, goalkeeping, eh? Hugo Bros praising Ronan Williams for taking the luck out of a penalty shootout of uh, it was straight after the Bafana Bafana captain say four spot kicks. As I said earlier on, I don't know if it's luck of planning, but somebody on social media just a short while ago uh, looking at X saying that uh, Futin Lala, a big shout out to the analysts. They studied Cabo Verde's takers very well. Ronan's question was, which one goes to my left? And the answer was number six. We all heard that. Dennis, Andre, please help us out. The analysis of penalty taking, looking at your opponent, takes what? And what can we read in terms of what Ronan was asking and what actually happened? You go first. <laughs> yeah, well, of course. As the coach said, that uh, the analysts helped, but also it stands with the keeper how he feels yeah. and his decision-making because 
you don't know what the players who's kicking the ball is thinking, his body position, whether he's going to change on what they've given you. Mm -hmm. So it, it involves a lot of science and a little bit of mind games. And of course, as I said, the analysts, they help because mm -hmm. it's, it's not like he's going to change eventually yeah. because probably that's his best penalty all the time. And uh, they look at that probably three, four times he's kicking the same side. And you watch videos. Uh, the good thing is that uh, in modern football, you 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 have uh, the 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 videos around you, and you you get to see how a player stands when he's kicking on the left or on the right. So the analysis comes in, but mm -hmm. also uh, as a goalkeeper, you need to decide and get to know and believe in what they've given you. You were number one at Sundowns <laughs> yeah. for many seasons, winning top awards. Many seasons at Sundowns. And then here comes probably, and we'll remind our listeners when we spoke to Rob Moore, when they made one of the biggest transfers in PSL history, him moving from Super Sports United across to Sundowns. And just how professional Dennis Onyango was in handling the situation and now having to navigate around being definitely number one. Every team sheet that comes Sundowns way, Dennis Onyango's there to now it changing to a run on Williams. How difficult, how hard is that transition? But then he relies on you as a support. Yeah, of course, it was very difficult for me to 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 take it in. But he fought for his position uh, when he came through from Supersport. We all knew his qualities. And I also knew his qualities because I was with him at Supersport at one stage. But of course, I also learned from the past that when I came in at Sundown, I met Kennedy Mwini, who was... African champion. I mean, he won the AFCON and I had to uh, dethrone him and, and become the number one goalkeeper at the club. But he was there to support me, regardless of the situation. He was always happy, but competitively giving me the, the, uh, the, the support. And of course, as brothers, because uh, the moment you start sulking, it's going to go with you. And when you're on the pitch, it's going to follow you. If you have a bad heart, it's going to follow you on the pitch and you're going to, you're going to have problems. So I learned from Kennedy Mwini that if someone is, is doing well, you need to support when your chance comes in. You have to, to give your best. And when Ronwen came at, as well at the club, I had to support him when he's given a chance to play because we're there for the club. We're not there for individual uh, 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 glory. So whenever I'm given a chance at the club, I have to give my best. But I also have to support him because the club has to move on with or without Dennis. So being angry at the situation wouldn't have helped me. So I had to give my best at training. The decision lies in the coach's hand. And um, I'm happy that he's doing well. I mean, his first season, he, he was the goalkeeper of the season with a lot of clean sheets. Uh, and uh, I, I wouldn't be disappointed because if someone comes in and takes your position and is, is done very well, you just need to upload and, and, of course, support him as much as you can and wait for your opportunity. And for me, we've been fantastic at Sundown in terms of goalkeeping department because whoever comes in has to give his best and we stay as brothers. An important lesson there, uh, Andre, of what Dennis is talking about and what we see via the lens of the camera is we see a Veli Mortua who was now a Dennis Onyango to Ronan Williams at the AFCON, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. That support is there. And as goalkeepers, it always seems to be more likely than infield players where you take in, maybe let's say, in inverted commas, somebody better coming through, somebody long-term plans coming through. But as goalkeepers, how important is that? I, I love what Dennis is saying because it's then educating us in terms of what's going on in the national team right now. Yeah. Simply put, it's called the goalkeeper's union, isn't it? And I think every <laughs> single goalkeeper out there is the president of that union. Yeah. Um, that's how tightly knit the, the, the position is. And, and, and you know, as Dennis says, what, what it does to you as an individual, mm -hmm. it, it guides you. Um, it, it, it brings out the best in you. you. There's a realization that I've got to work extra hard now um, if I want to dethrone the next one. Um, and so it... it it literally ignites and ups your own game. Yeah. Um, and it's difficult. Uh, sometimes you've got to wait. Uh, and if I can just quickly use myself as, as an example, yeah. Rob, um, you know, if I go back to 1992 and I got my first Bafana call-up, 
I must say call up, call up to the squad. Yes. Um, and I got regular call ups, consistently regular call ups, all the way through to 1995, but always a number two to some top, top quality goalkeepers like Mark Anderson, Steve Crowley, uh, Roger Dessau, mm. to mention but mm. three top, mm. top uh, class goalkeepers, um, John Tlali in there as well. Um, and it's a test. It's a test. It's a, it's a, it's a test of your character um, and how hard you're willing to work to ultimately get your chance. And so that's what the goalkeepers union is about. And it's just, it's just a, it's a brotherhood. It's a camaraderie. And, 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 and that's why it brings out the best in, in, in any goalkeeper. All right, with that, uh, before I get to Lasto's comments, your comments. Good evening, Mr. Rob. It's Olu Felang here. And good evening to the MSW Shoulders. Mr. Rob, my reaction. Like any and every other South African, I would love to place my reaction on all things to do with Bafana Bafana. Congratulations to the boys. They played so well. It was too close to call for me. That match was too close to call, so much so that it went down the wire, 120 minutes. And for a, a whole goalkeeper to be a hero, making history at the AFCON to save four of a team's five penalties is just incredible. Ronan Williams, oh man, oh man, you deserve your flowers, man. Congratulations on such an incredible showing throughout the game. In fact, that save started from the 90th minute, him saving the one-on-one. -on -one. That was the beginning of something special in that particular match. And here we are. It's Hugo Pro's coach, congratulations. And every single member of the Pafarama Fana team, congratulations. On to the next one, being Nigeria. I feel that we can avenge our 2019 loss by beating them this coming Wednesday. It is possible. We keep the shape, keep that same mentality, keep that fighting spirit, and hey, we may have one over Nigeria this Wednesday. Great show as always. Thanks. Well, for long, thank you so much indeed. A lot was said, factual and otherwise. Thank you very much indeed for the input. It is a Monday today. It is Reaction Monday, proudly powered by Hollywood Bets. And do send us your WhatsApp voice notes. Do call in because we've got a very strong panel here in studio. People who have experienced, who've played at the highest level and who still continue to contribute at the highest level as well. And one of the things that Hula Falang mentioned in that uh, voice note was something that we never ever thought we'd be chatting about today. You know, no goalkeeper had made a single save in a penalty shootout at AFCON 2023. And here was the guy who stopped four of the five. And that's just the ridiculous nature of it all and why we are in awe of what Ronan Williams has been doing. We got to where we are. Lasto, you've made praise of the consistency of Hugo Bruce's selection. It's bearing fruit. We got into extra time. And he was almost forced to now tinker with that trusted and tested lineup that he's put out. And what did you make of the changes? What positives do they bring into the play? And if at all, did anybody put up their hand of the changes that he made that would say, I now deserve to be in the starting lineup against Nigeria? Uh, Rob, no, not really. Um, I think he's found a winning formula. And, and, and that's what any, any technical team would want. Uh, it's a Bafana that with eyes closed right now, they know who's going to start. Even the changes themselves, it's, it's almost like you can predict them that this is what is going to happen, which is even greater, uh, that now there's kind of uh, a way of doing things. Uh, if you look, at, um, uh, you look at the midfield, I think there was a match where Tembazwane was substituted. might have been against Morocco. Um, I felt that that substitution came a bit earlier, in my opinion. And I think that changed now, in the match against Cape Verde, he stayed a little bit longer. So it's not so much about this, the, the bench, the players coming from the bench wanting to actually maybe dethrone or play the next game as starters. I don't think that is how they are looking at it. Of course, as a substitute, if you're coming from the bench, you must give your best, you must change the game and so forth. But I don't think the aim is so much about can we change it next game because we, we have been doing so well with the starting lineup, because there are certain players that must start. There are certain players that must come in. Uh, if you look at Maseko coming in as well on the left-hand side, because sometimes you find there's just a little bit of a change. Pesitao now goes to the right-hand side, uh, which, again, this is where he plays when he's playing for uh, at his club. 
is coming from the right hand side. So there are all these options available to the coach. Uh, I think it's it's working nicely, but it's not so much about now the coach against Nigeria. You might think of getting one of those players that came from the bench in actual throw in. I didn't see that much. So I don't expect that the starting lineup that has been consistent, that will be tempered up with. But the substitution definitely, they'll always come in. But it's not so much about them actually playing the next game as starters, the way I see things have been happening for my fandom. And Rob, I cannot begin to describe how excited I was on Saturday. It was on the show before the tournament started where I said it will be total failure for Bafana not to progress uh, into the semifinals. And here they are today. They've realized that dream. And I said that with so much conviction uh, because we've got a team here that is maturing uh, tactically uh, as the tournament progresses. And something unique about this team is that they've got the ability to play the moments of the game. You would have seen with the save that Ronan Williams made, all the interceptions that were made by Umudiba in the middle field, Uyaya Stole as well, Debs are coming in as well every member of the team pulling their weight. And for me, Rob, we have shown that we are capable of winning this tournament by knocking out the, the number one ranked team in the in Africa. Now we have what it takes uh, to beat Nigeria, the most expensive squad in the AFCON in terms of market value. And I think come uh, Bafana Bafana's game, we're going to emerge victorious. We're going into that final. Thank you so much, Tabokoya. Tabokoya, thank you very, very much indeed. One thing I can tell you is that uh, that Nigeria game, it goes far deeper than just ordinary football. It gets more personal than just ordinary football. It is something, and I'm sure my Nigerian brothers and sisters who are listening to the show right now, wherever you're listening across the country, the continent, or the world, please be a part of it. I see everyone that's watching on the YouTube channel, uh, you know, going bananas as far as the reaction is concerned. I love that. Keep it going. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is not about football against Nigeria. Maybe the game is called football as far as AFCON is concerned. <laughs> Orange is giving me that look that says, don't mess with me, my gloves are coming for you. So it's got to do more than just football. 100%. Um, you know, it's always been a, a, a good rivalry yeah. um, on the African continent. And it stems, it, for me, it, it goes back to 1996 when there was a, uh, AFCON <laughs> with no Nigeria, um, where people said, well, it's not an AFCON without Nigeria. Then, of course, we progress beyond that and we start playing against Nigeria and the rivalry starts to unfold um, over the years. And people are looking at head-to-head -head battles. Um, and, you know, and of course, you've got, you've got people who, who, who come to you and say, well, this is what's going to happen. The team's too yeah. strong. It's a, this is going to be an epic battle. Um, you're looking at a star-studded team who are, who for the most, most part play their football abroad in, 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 in Europe, for example, against a team who predominantly uh, ply their trade on the, on, the, uh, on the local front. So, yeah. you know, it's going to be that kind of experience versus a real, a real sort of grit from, from, from a Bafana team that I can see coming through at the moment. I, if, Rob, if I, if I just look at a few strengths, and I know Hugo mm -hmm. Bruce touched on it earlier when he said it was arguably Bafana's worst performance mm -hmm. in the last game. Yeah. Um, having said that, I look at the positives. What are the positive, positives for them going into this Nigerian uh, encounter? Another clean sheet. Mm -hmm. Back four, tops again. Goalkeeper on form. I look, at the, I look at some of the statistics that stand out. I think Bafana's best football is in possession. Um, that's what they're good at. Um, in the last game, you know, they, 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 they created 485 passes it was with an with a, with a accuracy of just under 80%. Mm. So when you, when, you, when you have that kind of stat about you, that means that Nigeria are going to find it difficult to get hold of the ball. Yeah. Um, and that's what we've got to do in this particular game. Deny them possession. Well, looking at uh, Twitter, Khumutundu says that Dennis is making a very powerful point. He is reminding me of the role that Velimoto is playing in the national team. He's happy to be on the bench, giving support to one in a space of excellence. 100% agree, guys. All right, keep it coming through because, you know what, it's a Monday today. The game, we're just counting hours. Africa Cup of Nations, Cote d'Ivoire 23. Up to the minute, concise and reliable updates with Robert Marawa. Hashtag MSW AFCON. Real clients, really awesome service. Here's Isabel. 
It was three days before Christmas when my son passed away. When I put in the funeral insurance claim, it was very, very quick. After three days, they put the money in the banking account. If people are looking for funeral insurance, insurance is the best. Isn't it time you got more from your insurer? SMS Funeral to 33061 now. Outsurance, licensed insurer and FSP. T's and C's online. This Valentine's, share more love with Cadbury Dairy Milk. And you could be jetting off on a once-in-a-lifetime luxurious trip for two to the Maldives. How? Buy two Cadbury Dairy Milk slabs and dial star 120 star 10 11 12 hash to enter. You could also win a hot air balloon experience, airtime, spa vouchers and more. It's that simple to share more love with Cadbury. There's a glass and a half in everyone. T's and C's apply. Do you hear that? That's the sound of my well-rested family protected by Expander Pro security barriers. One of their pros came out to my home and gave me a free security assessment. All my custom-made security gates and burglar bars were installed within days of placing my order. I was so impressed with their service, quality, price and guarantees, I even got roller shutters installed at my business. Visit expander.co.za to request a quote. Expander. Real security for real people, real fast. Psst. Want to save big money? I refurbished my entire home for half the price. That's up to 50% off. Take advantage of Metro Lifestyle Northgate's crazy 30-day relocation sale. Visit the Metro Lifestyle Northgate store for once-in-a-lifetime deals. From dress fabrics, curtaining and upholstery to homeware furniture, decor, carpets, happy and so much more. Everything must go. In-store only while stocks last. Call us on 08611 Metro. That's 08611-63876. We make your house a home. Do you aspire to a career in the media industry? Bring your ambitions to life with a diploma in media practices from Boston Media House in Santon or Pretoria. Choose a combination of electives from radio, TV, advertising, animation, graphic design, digital marketing, PR and journalism. Apply and register now to start studying 19th of February. See bostonmediahouse.ac.za for more details. In a world where sameness runs loose, one brand dares to rise above the noise to bring you something big. Introducing the premium three-row XL6 from Suzuki, an SUV that's big on space with six spacious seats, big on tech with climate control and reverse camera, and big on safety with ABS, EBD, and ESP. Think big. Think XL6. Book your test drive today at suzukiauto.co.za. Marala Sports Worldwide. You know, you see players at Chelsea. Rob Moore represents them. He goes to MLS. Rob Moore represents them. Go ahead and tell everybody. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Um, where does this rank in terms of a player moving from a local team going to another local team for that amount? Biggest, biggest transfer I've ever done in, in the PSL. Even in that, I would put Pina returning to South Africa. But you were able in 2022 to put together the biggest deal within the Premier Soccer League. What does that say about the shift now? But, uh, but, but uh, Rob, I qualified it by saying that's my biggest deal I've negotiated. Eh? I don't know whether it is the biggest, but it's certainly the biggest I've done. It, it all depends what clubs are involved in a deal. Ronnie was appropriately paid. He is a national team captain and he is the best at his job. Marawa Sports Worldwide, Monday to Friday weekdays. Yeah, there was, what, a couple of seasons ago, chatting to Rob Moore, the agent of Ronan Williams, when the big transfer was made from Supersport United to Mamelodi Sundowns. And trust me, Rob Moore makes big deals, but he hardly ever comes into the country. And for that, he left Spain, left his comfort zone, flew into the country, and said, personally, he is going to be here to engineer the biggest deal that he has ever made. Look at where it is right now. Not your ordinary Monday. It's Reaction Monday. Hashtag MSW. Good evening, Mr. Marawa. Great show as always. Yeah, man, I think, uh, obviously, the talk of the town, man, Jibafana Mafana and Ron Wayne Williams. And, uh, okay, I hear uh, 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 Dennis Onyango uh, 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 saying, uh, praising the team, and I agree uh, most of what he was saying. Uh, 
But uh, where I don't agree with him is where he says the nation has been behind them. I don't think South Africans have been behind them. Uh, uh, only now when they are starting to 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 be, to be a buzz, when there's, when there's a buzz around, going around about Bafana Bafana winning all these games, only now that the country is behind them. Uh, and I think it's what drove South Africa to to actually perform and be where they are right now, you know, uh, winning all of those games, being under pressure uh, and coming up with results, you know. Yeah, so even in the, with the social media, you can see nobody was behind Bafana Bafana. They've actually went out there and given, given it their all. And yeah, we hope for the best uh, come Wednesday. And uh, it seems like the spirit saga 1996 samba now. All the best to them. Yeah, spirit of 1996 embodied by Andre Aronsa here in studio. Dennis Onyango, as well as Elasto Capoenza, all of us uh, sitting here cheering the team on, but also just analytically looking at what happened over the weekend. Elasto, let me come to you, though, with that point that was made. And funny enough, we were talking about the same thing off air as we were into the break and saying that prior to the Africa Cup of Nations, you know, Bafana Bafana playing in front of empty stadia, uh, a lot of people who now talk loudly about the national team can hardly tell you about three players that are in that lineup. A lot of things have changed. The dynamic has changed. But Bafana Bafana have done it outside of the glare of the media, uh, internationally, outside of Pack Stadia in Ivory Coast. Almost that underdog status that has made them now to have everybody say, oh, geez, who are these guys? But they're finding out who these guys are in the quarterfinal. How does that work in their favor? Yeah, obvious. And underdog tag um, always, you know, removes the pressure uh, on, on, on the team. That's what we have seen. Um, you know, a lot of doubters there when Bafana Bafana left for this Nations Cup. Uh, the coach himself, uh, there were questions. Uh, not only the players, Rob, it went beyond the players. Even the association itself, uh, the president of SAFA, all that, it was like, you know, this failed project. Uh, but yes, that's what the wins does. Uh, now it has brought everyone together. Uh, there's belief. Um, and I think as, as players, that's what it's all about. It's about you making sure that yeah, you prove uh, that you are good. And that's what Bafana has done. But, but playing, you know, without this pressure, without this huge expectation, it, it has helped them. Yes, now they're getting into a stage where now, of course, the country now believes them again. So it switches again that now they are expected to do well. So how do you handle that? How do you now, you know, manage those expectations? So Bafana, it, it worked for them in their favor because even them going to the tournament, I don't think many opponents of Bafana would have thought uh, they would, you know, give us the performance that we've seen. And that allowed them as well to just go past the likes of Morocco and really to be where they are now. Yeah, Tunisia. I mean, top names as far as... Um not just African football, but world football is concerned. If you look at Morocco and where they ended up at the FIFA World Cup as well. Right, it is a Monday reaction Monday, powered by Hollywood Bets. Uh, joining us right now here on hashtag MSW. Mara Sports Worldwide, live on 947, Vuma FM, Rise FM, Sowetan Live, and also acknowledging everyone that's watching the show on the YouTube channel. Uh, let me go through a couple of the comments here. Nompo Melelo saying that we are here for Reaction Monday. Good evening. And Amata uh, says, well, good evening, Rob. Looking forward to bring the AFCON trophy. Uh, Uwonga Letu says we need Ronwin Williams holiday. Hey, Cyril Ramaphosa, our president. Hey, you're making <laughs> us get used to holidays. There's someone suggesting a Ronwin Williams holiday. Oh. Yes. Hey, I'm okay, <laughs> Malulega says, great show, Rob. What a performance by the boys. And I know that Cape Verde played very well. Uh, but winning is in order of the day. And it gives us confidence that we have a great chance of also going to the World Cup. Indeed, I think a lot of people were excited to be playing against Cape Verde. Not sure if they were excited about on the field or off the field, as far as Cape Verde is concerned. But yeah, we'll leave that for another day. <laughs> I think Lester knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, Sakiwa says, well, this match against Nigeria, the Super Eagles is super personal. And we want the boys to give it all. And we, we can't lose to anyone else, but not the Nigerians. We can lose to anyone else, but not the Nigerian national team. Says, please, yo. Huh? Zatu says, I'm one of those who didn't believe that Bafana Bafana will get to third position in the group stages. But I am humbled and I believe it's a win over Nigeria. 
and everybody's saying, yeah, it's Amo Piano versus Afro Beats. I don't know. Dennis Onyango's favorite topic is music. <laughs> <laughs> is that so? <laughs> okay. You don't know. No, I didn't you know. know. I didn't know, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know that Dennis Onyango, Andre, you don't know. I've I don't told know. the story I've many times. many years, knows. but I don't I know. know that. Yeah. That, <laughs> You, you know you have beauty pageants. Yes. Have you heard of beauty pageants yes, for men? Yes, for sure. been a Mr. South Africa. <laughs> yeah. Paul Pume and everybody else. Yes. He was Mr. Uganda. He wore oh, wow. a sash. Oh, wow. He won a beauty competition. <laughs> mm. Yeah, don't mess with them. The fight, the desire we had as a team tonight to fight for 120 plus minutes, that's what matters to me. You know, to see the brotherhood out there, to fight, to keep going, that matters to me. And that's what's more important, you know, so... I will receive this trophy on behalf of all the players, the technical team, the staff, everyone that's been on this journey with us. Let's say uh, six hours ago I was 71. Now I'm 75. <laughs> it was a, a very stressy game, certainly with penalties. You never know what happened when you have to take penalties. It's a, a very special situation for the players. So sometimes you do a little game after training, taking penalties and then nearly no player miss a penalty. But you see today what happened not only with us, but also for the players of uh, Cap Verde. So that means that, um, yes, you can be happy that players want to give a penalty. And we were yeah, not lucky because we had a very good keeper today. If you can take four penalties, this is not luck anymore. You can take one, but four, this is not luck. And um, he did not only that. He saved us two minutes before the end also with um, a player who was alone in front of him. So, um, yes, he was man of the match. Yeah, man of the match, Hugo Bruss, as well as Ronan Williams reflecting back on the weekend. Yeah, we gave you a chance as well. Dennis didn't argue with me, so please confirm. Those people are arguing with me on social <laughs> media saying that there's no way. You were Mr. Uganda, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was Mr. Uganda for, for a year. For a year? Yeah. yeah. And then you're not Mr. Personality, but you were, you know, Mr. <laughs> Uganda. Rob, good evening. Uh, Mark here, all the way from the Algarve in Portugal. Uh, good evening to your guests in studio. Uh, I'd uh, specifically like to say hello to Dennis, uh, an old teammate of mine there at uh, Pumalanga Black Aces. How's it, Dennis? Hope you're well. Uh, Rob, uh, what a what a weekend uh, as a ex professional footballer. Um, love to see our country doing so well. It uh, was awesome seeing the boys perform the way they're doing, um, and I really do hope that this Bafana team can go all the way and bring that trophy home uh, for for all of us as a nation um, that we love football so much. Thanks, Rob, for an awesome show. Bye. Oh man, support coming through all the way from Portugal. Really appreciate that. Uh, keep. Uh, keep watching, keep listening. That's all we do. Uh, Dennis, an old teammate of yours, ring a bell? Yeah, the struggles we had at Black Aces. But those are the things that make us who we are. Yes. They make us stronger. And they make the journey beautiful because a journey without struggles, it's not nice. So you must have the struggles to tell a, be a beautiful story. So for me, it's a... Uh, a good one that mm. he still remembers me but uh, of course he reminds me of the difficult times we had with aces going down in relegation with a lot of challenges but yeah. it's part of life yeah and obviously the transition um andre you would know woodbank black aces becoming pumalanga black aces now cape town city and that's the game of football but everybody lives with the memories i think the original woodbank aces had a gentleman called suprem mahale maimane he was their top goalkeeper there. And we, we can't forget such things because that's what South African football was all about. And then we have a different generation. And then we got Andre Arantza, who's here, 1996, as we always talk about. Your journey through Fulham, you coming back into the country, that is a whole generation, but talkability around that. Now we talk Ronan Williams. And he begins his journey. What are the chances, though, if, if you're a scout and you're watching this anywhere in the world, where would he most likely go? Because I don't see him. And I'm sorry, my son, Dewan. I, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't see him, him staying for much longer. Yeah. Um, 
and, and, and 100 percent Robert and, and I say this with the greatest of respect to every single local club in the PSL mm. um, sundowns included Ronwin is he's too good for the local game um, Ronwin's what 32 now yeah mm. and he is playing the best football of his life and he will continue to play the best foot, football of his life until the age of 35 36 depending on how well he looks after his body we know that Dennis you know this is the time where we all feel like we're playing the best football. Mm. That it's the maturity levels in goalkeeping. Um, most goalkeepers who go all the way in their careers will tell you they start to play the best football of their lives at this particular age um, sort of gap, if you like. Um, when I was with Ronan in 2019 at the Nations Cup in uh, uh, in Egypt, mm. um, and he had he he was showing signs of of having such a sterling performance at that level already. Um, I said to him, "You've got to move." You've got to make the move. Um, and this was before Sundance came yeah. calling. Um, you have to make the move abroad. Uh, that's your ultimate goal. And that's your ultimate test. And, and to this day, I still feel that if he, de if he made that move today, he would still go and, 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 and just be fantastic mm. in, in whatever league it is. And, and of course, we've got to be mindful of what league it is that he, he would go to potentially. Um, if that was what he wanted, and of course, if that were to happen, but I just, I just feel that he's got to even, and I'm saying this because he's, he's 32 already, and I'm saying this, he's got to take it up a notch to a, another level. I mean, we've seen Peter Shilton at a World Cup at the age of 42. You know, we're not saying wait until the Sasa Grant kicks in, but you know, <laughs> let's make it happen, nice and easy. Um, because of time, Andre, let me take your prediction. I mean, you've been through it. You've seen Nigeria, South Africa are there. Semi-final. Yeah. Coach said, you can start to dream. What's a dream scoreline? It's going to be another very close one, Rob. Very close. You're looking at two teams, two sets of defences who've been on top of their games. Um, you know, um, Stanley Mobali is he's, he's, he's another yeah. top goal co goalkeeper who's playing straight in the PSL. I think he's also kept four clean sheets now in the tournament. Um, conceded one goal so far, I think, for the team. So defensively, both teams are on top of their game. It's going to be that moment of brilliance, I think, that will that will win it. I, again, I see this mm. this one going to penalties. Oh, penalties. Dennis Onyango, do you see penalties here? No, I don't think it's going to go into penalties. Who's taking it then? Well, with the quality that both teams have up front, I think uh, Bafana needs to keep it tight with the one near lead because at the back, Pound for pound, Toby Mvala will fight with Osimhen. I mean, he will win that battle. Yes. The bandages will come out. <laughs> the bandages More will come them, out. Yeah. And the moment you hold on uh, Osimhen and on the left, you, you what's his name? Uh, Lukman as well. Lukman. The so moment well. you hold those two, yeah. you have them in your in your hand. So uh, all we need is for Temba Zwani to click. Yeah. The moment the music starts playing, and the movements happen up front, I think it's, it's, it can fall for Bafana. The but music. it's going to be a very tough game. It's the music. You see, you know a guy who yeah. belongs to a team of piano and shoeshine. <laughs> so Stan Skrima Shabalala started this years ago, but the music continues in the play of Sundowns. You have the final say. We have penalties. We have 1-0 in normal time. No extra time from Dennis to South Africa. Last year, you got the final shot. I'm with Dennis. Um, I don't see any penalties, no extra time. Uh, the game will be won and lost in midfield. The likes of Teboko Bokwenas of this world, uh, Stole, battling with uh, the Iwobis of this world of, of Nigeria. Nigeria, yes, have been mm. very stingy, very organized, nothing fancy from their side. But I just feel that Bafana, we have that edge uh, to finish this job that they've started. So I give it to Bafana, 2-1. 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. Yay! You're giving us palpitations with that one. I <laughs> <laughs> You're saying 2-0, then we breathe a little bit here. Yeah. Gentlemen, you know what? We, we we ever so humbled and honored to have your presence here on the show. Uh, let it not be the last. We are very close to the final and the finish line. Dennis Onyango, Andre Arensa, Elasto Kapawenza. Gentlemen, thank you very, very much indeed for being part of the show. Look forward to chatting about how the trophy comes home. How Ooh. we declare at customs. This trophy, when it comes <laughs> home, hmm, we've got to declare everything. As someone was saying, now we can dream. Good evening, Mr. Marawa. Wonderful show as always, sir. Bafana, Bafana. Now we can dream. Now we can dream. We are bringing this cup back home. It's our time now, Mr. Marawa. I want to congratulate the boys and our skipper, Mr. Williams. Guys, you guys are doing us so proud out there. Keep up the good work. Dream big now. It's time to dream now. Uh, Mr. Marawa, thank you.
<laughs> thank you so much indeed. All right, let's stream again tomorrow on the show. Thank you very much indeed. It has been Reaction Monday right here on hashtag MSW Mara Sports Worldwide. Proudly brought to you and powered by Hollywood Bets. Reaction Monday was proudly powered by Hollywood Bets. Hashtag MSW.